Alexandria Eaton and I work in paint and textiles. Um, I have a background in painting and um, very colorful, expressive um, pictorial images, landscape and figurative um, acrylic on canvas. Um, I started moving um, into textiles when my children were very young and I couldn't always get to my painting studio. And I started rug hooking, um, which was something that I could do at home. At the time, my painting, uh, I was working on a series called Busy Woman, which was really about uh, my own um, experience of um, coming to terms with uh, societal expectations that were placed on women who, who were mothers. And really, I found that very challenging. How was I going to maintain my art practice and be a mom? And um, so I, I painted about it. Um, the paintings were, uh, I was using rollers and tape and handmade stencils, simplifying drawings down to just a, um, like a basic outline of the female form and, um, cutting stencils and then using rollers, building up layers. And it was, the, uh, the female figures were rushing across very, um, abstracted, um, painted backgrounds using spray paint and um, that was sort of the first series of work that I felt really spoke to my own experience. And when I started rug hooking, I realized that the imagery could be uh, taken from the painting and used in the compositions for the rugs. Um, and when my grandmother passed away, in 2015, um, I found myself overcome with grief and I started working on a project. I decided I would rug hook um, a series of hook drugs based on her life and inspired by her. This was a very uh, personal and private um, project. I never really intended to um, exhibit that work or show anyone, um, but over it took five years to complete and over that time, um, the paintings were studies for the rugs and the rugs were studies for the paintings. And I started out with a very universal size and shape with the idea that when all the rugs were finished, I could stitch them together to create a giant story quilt. In the end, um, the paintings were shown with the rugs. Um, there were hundreds of painted studies, but um, it was narrowed down to 30 um, paintings and hooked rugs that were shown in a grid formation on either side of the gallery. So you moved through the images, like you walked through, um, similar to memories, you walk through and uh, because of the repetition of some of the imagery, your eyes sort of moved around and uh, created a real sense of movement. Um, the thing that surprised me most about that was uh, that I took this very personal issue for me and once it was shown and I talked about it and met people who had seen it, it surprised me that it resonated so much with people and that they could form their own connections uh, based on their own personal histories. That was really um, a pivotal um, project and learning moment for me. Um, around the same time, um, my mother was disappearing further into Alzheimer's. She had Alzheimer's for over a decade, and uh, essentially I lost those two most important women uh, at the same time in very different ways. 
In my work, I was wondering how could I combine painting and rug hooking into assembled works. And I started also weaving. Uh, weaving for me is uh, a very soft, tactile, the act of overlapping fibers, the fibers in my hands, the softness of them. Um, uh, it's very slow and meditative and it just, I feel more connected to the women in my family when I'm working with textiles. My mom knit and sewed. Um, and just the vast history of women uh, working with textiles and in particular weaving to make cloth uh, for um, clothing and protection, warmth, comfort. Textiles look soft and fragile, but yet they have this inherent strength from the the warp and the weft. There's an inherent grid structure. And to me, it's really about all those, the points where they connect, what happens at those points where they connect. And the fact that although it looks very flat, like it's straight lines, um, it's actually weaving in and around. Each fiber moves around um, in back and in front, and um, it's similar, I think. It seems to be a metaphor for life that not everything is in a straight line. It's all those in-between bits. Weaving uh, pushes my brain into parts that I didn't even actually know were there. It gets me to think about things in such a different way. Um, the, I mean, painting for me, I consider two-dimensional, and yet weaving, it forces me to think about the construction more of a of a painting, um, how how can I influence the construction and then the shape? And can I move away from a pictorial element into one that is of pattern, perhaps mimicked by the construction? One particular work uh, that I call Mother um, is an example of combining uh, the weaving and the textiles with painting. Um, I, my mom used to knit a lot and she um, was a, a very skilled and um, as her Alzheimer's took hold and she wasn't able to knit anymore, she still had the muscle memory in her hands where she could knit a simple toque. Uh, if it was started, and she couldn't start it or end it, but she would could do the basic shape of it. Um, so for quite a while, we would start a hat in the morning, and um, it would keep her busy to knit a hat. And um, we have many of these hats because she, she made one every day. Um, and I was really thinking about the fact I never got her to teach me how to knit. Um, anyway, I, I was playing with the shape of that hat one day, wondering what, how I might incorporate the, the hat into my work. And I ended up tracing the shape um, and uh, then playing around with different fabric and, and stuffing it and um, I ended up with these um, semicircular shapes, the two hats stitched together, um, and then I stuffed them with the remnants of my rug hooking, and I had several of them, and um, ended up incorporating them by stitching them on to uh, this painting uh, as a painting element, even though they're um, lace and wool. and. Um, they created a very uh, breast-like shape, um, a saggy semi-circle, and um, uh, that 
really it was one of the first times I incorporated a three-dimensional element into a painting. I call that a painting and um, I think it's led to a new ways of thinking about what a painting can be. I guess I'm really wondering what what is a painting? What constitutes a painting? And I still really strongly identify as a painter, and yet um, I spend most of my time now weaving. Um, I'm wondering, can a painting be weaving? Can a weaving be painting? Can a painting be soft? That's sort of one of the main questions um, that I'll be exploring the next little while as I dive into deeper material explorations. Um, can I allow a painting to hang, to drape? Can the painting move off the wall and into space? Can it hang? Can it sit on the floor? Can you move around it from all sides? Can you see the back? Um, I think really that, that three-dimensional examination is where um, I have to go next. And um, I think the sewing element of, of just the construction of these three-dimensional shapes will really push me uh, out of my comfort zone. And um, then the idea of painting and staining them, um, I think that's that's where I'm headed.